is Sarah Iran Nejad. Uh, I was born actually in Iran, so now I'm an Australian citizen living in Brisbane. So I took uh, art more seriously after finishing my undergraduate studies, which was in the area of design. Gradually, uh, I have adopted uh, other methods and mediums, such as painting, inst installation, and video into my practice. But in particular, my art practice uh, gets its, its uh, inspiration from my cultural background and my experiences um, in uh, traveling, relocation, and uh, exploring. A lot of uh, attachments um, lose their meanings once you relocate to another place. It does not make any sense anymore. But somehow, um, they are deep within you because you have grown up with that culture. I was living in Iran and I think um, I was more surrounded by all this culture and it was so natural and so obvious uh, that um, it was there but I was not seeking to know more about uh, the deep meaning of them. So one, many aspects of migration I think has enhanced my perception of culture as well. Yes, there, are, um, there were many challenges for me to learn about the art industry in here. Well, um, so because I didn't know, um, you know, the, um, the art institutions, um, professionals and, and key people in Australia. So developing my art practice here in Australia um, uh, had in its own challenges and its own uh, opportunities uh, that it provided for me. Um, on on uh, certain levels, I think Iran is more like a preserved so society. If I um, try to um, be as open as I, as I want into my art, there would be a lot of limitation. Living in here and studying in here provides uh, this opportunity for me to uh, express myself more openly and be, um, I think, more uh, truthful to my art. So a thousand interconnection uh, presented a um, a number of my studio outcomes, mainly in the series uh, that I titled uh, Pattern Memoirs and uh, a multi-channel video work um, titled uh, Pool Connection. My practice and my research into the cross-cultural links between my past and present states uh, kind of led me to um, develop an interest in Australian history and nature. Quite by chance, I was introduced to uh, these demolition sites that they stock a lot of bits and pieces of old Queensland houses and furniture. And then I saw these objects uh, that are loaded with lots of memories of people who once called them home and uh, felt belong to them. I reimagined those imageries, um, those um, objects with imageries of Persian patterns, floral patterns, calligraphy, and um, all these uh, pieces of uh, Iranian visual culture. And Somehow, it really made sense, all these uh, sort of mystical images of Iranian culture uh, transferred on Australian um, pieces of history. To me, the exhibition uh, was um, very important, it was very rewarding, um, particularly in terms of meeting um, important people of uh, art community in Brisbane, and it has led to many other uh, collaborations and exhibitions. So because I'm looking at the uh, uh, different aspects of my life as an uh, Iranian living uh, in Australia, I get inspiration obviously from both cultures. However, I don't uh, want uh, that my works uh, have this indication that uh, they um, adhere to a certain nationality or place. I also enjoyed that um, I had an uh, audience of both uh, Iranian and Australian into my art and uh, I believe that um, um, most of them were seeing my art in sort of different perspectives. What I really like um, and encourage people is that even if they're not familiar with uh, my background of Persian culture, uh, still they can explore the beauty and the aesthetic and the visual appearance of the work. I mean, I really aspire to work um, more and further with uh, Australian uh, art communities, Australian, Australian artists and um, to also uh, enhance my knowledge and to pursue my uh, exploring. <laughs> I mean, that, I think art is um, 
quite exciting and interesting on, on the level that it can open the doors of curiosity yeah. and you know the seeking for more knowledge. I mean, you can just watch a painting or something, but then you just want to dig more and more and then know about the artist and the background and the knowledge behind it. So on one level, you just you know seeing that artwork, but on many levels you you know gathering a lot of different data and learning about a lot of different things, and that's that's why it's like more like um, you know life, and as you said, it's more like a universal language. It doesn't have all like limitations and borders. It's mm -hmm. just really open to like the mass of information that you can just you know get in and absorb all. 